from its spacious skies to the amber waves, it is America the Beautiful come to life. The Blue Ridge Mountains' majesty giving way to the mystical home of Tobacco Road, where three schools share 100 square miles of rich North Carolina soil and even richer roots in college basketball. My name is Pierce, and I go for the Duke Blue Devils. My name is Kate, and I'm an NC State fan. I'm William. My team is North Carolina. We pull for Duke. D-U-K-E. Duke, baby. Go Pack! Even my braces are Carolina Blue. It's obvious who I root for. This is my son Jake, and we're Carolina Blue. Go Heels! Go Tar Heels! Basketball is an awesome sport. It makes me feel like a regular kid. Basketball is... it's a game, but... It's a great game, and it's not meaningless. Certainly not for those searching for a ray of hope in life before finding it at Duke University on Coach K's court. All these kids have such a joy for life, and it's fun to teach them basketball because they just have such a pure love of the game. Like, they just love to play. Tobacco Row is a extraordinary region of the country. Basketball is one of the major bloodlines uh, of this whole region. All the kids grew up playing basketball. Basketball is just huge. You can't escape it. It's, it, and it's such a passion around here. You just can't not love it. <laughs> I was a big sports guy and after I had cancer I wasn't able to play anymore. When I used to run around, I would get tired easily. You don't feel like you want to be here anymore. You feel really down. It's just terrible. Children who are different, feel different, look different, it just has a very big effect on their whole affect, their whole way of approaching life. These kids are all inspirations to us. The things that they've gone through in life are things we could never imagine having to have gone through. The basic goal of Hoop Dreams is to just help these kids, you know, get back a sense of normalcy in their life. It was two years ago, my first time I had cancer. Altogether, I now have brain tumor, hydrocephalus, diabetes, double vision. I got diagnosed with neuroblastoma. I had aplastic anemia. I had leukemia. ADD, incontinence, and low bone density. I feel like I have everything. When I first found out I had cancer and brain tumor, I didn't even know what they were. They took me in and they gave me chemo immediately. When I found out, I was just... No, crying my eyes out, really sad. I had no clue what it was, had no clue what it meant. I just thought it was something like a cold. I would be there crying with my family, not even though it was going on, but I knew it was bad. I thought I was going to die immediately. I didn't understand why it would happen to me, but you know, I just had to deal with it. I thought it would never happen to me, but it does. It did. But since August of 2003, for chronically ill children of all ages, what Hoop Dreams has done is deliver the one kind of treatment no amount of medicine can provide. A weekly dose of confidence and community into lives desperate for a bit of both. Our whole family so, you know, revolved around sports, and here Leah is laying in the bed. She could not move at all. Without sports, um, I think Justin would have had a much more difficult time in dealing with his illness. Dr. Friedman came in our room and um, told us about this Hoop Dreams thing that he wanted to start and she was just, we were all excited from that day on. There was really no keeping Justin out of it. He wanted to be a part of it. All of a sudden she can do a whole lot more after Hoop Dreams. It really got her excited. Justin is one of these kids who's just, his, his life kind of centers around sports. He wants to be fully involved with it and Hoop Dreams gives him a wonderful opportunity to do that. One of the best times of my life is to be with Hoop Dreams. Makes you want to keep on trying. Without Hoop Dreams, I, you know, would be really depressed all the time, but it lets me get steam off my chest. It's just a whole new outlet for me. It helps you to gain your strength back and meet friends. Before, I didn't have a lot of friends because, you know, I didn't want to talk. I never said anything because, you know, I was afraid. You feel so relaxed. You don't feel like, you know, you're... Pressure at all. Not paranoid about it, and if you don't excel, it's not the end of the world. You know, the apocalypse will not occur. Now I've got more friends who are like me. People who are going through the same kind of junk that I've been through. People just like me, and I'm not the only one, and I'm not different. It means everything to me to be with somebody that's been through the same thing that I've been through. There was a time not long ago when most people thought that 
Blind people can never learn to read. My name is Demon. My team is NC State. NC State. Greg is battling um, brain tumors that have compromised his vision, but he loves to see NC State win. We had heard about a young man uh, who had an opportunity to go to a Duke basketball game, but he immediately said that he would prefer to go to an NC State game, that he was a Wolfpack fan. <laughs> a remarkably funny kid who loves to make fun of the refs. The refs just don't know what they're calling. Here, refs! Here's the ref! I don't know what it is, what kind of karma he has, but he, he sucks people in where you just, you fall in love with them because I guess of everything he's gone through, he should be miserable, but he's, he doesn't seem to go through that. He just really enjoys being there. We asked him to join us for a game, and once he did, he became part of our family. The kid, to be going through what he is, he has so much love in his heart. He smiles, he likes to tell jokes. He makes me laugh all the time. I love him. He's in the locker room after games. He travels with us. He's one of us. When he's around us, we treat him like anybody else. We just want to bring some joy and delight to his life the same way he brings to ours. When I first met Greg, I wasn't really sure how he would do. So I was, I was a bit nervous. And then I was shocked when he got to practice. He said, Coach, can I shoot? And I didn't know what to say because <laughs> I didn't, you know, he can't see. How's he going to, you know, shoot the ball? It's just amazing. He has to deal with so much more than anybody else, and he still does it. And even if it's hard for him, he still does it, no matter what. We're doing things with these children that are extraordinary, that I bet many people watching this can't do. Certainly I can't do it. We try to think of drills that, that boost their confidence and make them feel special to see that they can do these fun tricks that a lot of even their friends can't do. I've been learning tricks that I never thought were humanly possible. Dribble with two balls, one ball behind my back, under the bridge. So I love telling my friends what I can do. beautiful it is in America when three schools so driven to beat one another can unite to grace the lives of others if only for a while the sadness that we have to face is that some of these children will never live to be adults they will never marry they will never have their own children really have the kind of life that as parents we want for our children I've had a number of people say to me you know how do you do this how do you deal with it these are the cards we've been dealt, and you just do what you have to do in order to make it through the next challenge. You have heartache moments, and uh, they're never going to go away. Normal is such a word that is taken for granted so much. I'm the same as I was. It's not different to have cancer. I'm strong, and I can live through this. What people don't understand about kids with cancer is that we still need to be kids. You don't need to feel sorry as long as we're having fun, that's all that matters. Sure, we have cancer and it sucks and we have to have treatment, but we're still kids. We still want to have fun, we still want to do the things that, you know, normal kids do. There's a bunch of bad times, but there's a bunch of good times through it too.